Alrighty, satellite TV, how to set it up and how to find Optus C1. First of all you'll need a system, a kit. In the kit you'll need a uh, satellite box. I've chosen the uh, 4664X because it's a 12 volt, 24 volt box. You can record TV on it, you can do everything you can do at home, but it's in the uh, in the caravan and it's handy. You'll need a LNB or a line noise block. Some people call them a feed horn. You can buy the standard unit, <coughs> which will do optic satellites only, or I recommend you buy the universal unit. They're the same price and uh, it'll do every satellite that's up there if you choose to look at others other than Optus at any other time. You'll need a uh, satellite meter. I've chosen the digital one. I've also got the analog with, with the needle, but this, uh, uh, this digital one is so much better. It's got little lights up here that'll light up when we set it up. I'll show you that later on. But uh, these are a little bit dearer, but they last forever, and I love it. They're good for setting up at night. You don't need uh, lights and whatnot because it's got the lights built into it. You'll need a compass. Some people use expensive ones. I just use the uh, $9.95 variety. And we've never mishit a satellite yet. And uh, so much so we don't even need to take it out of the packet. You'll need a uh, satellite quality cable with the fittings already attached. And on the other end is the fitting with a double male joiner. You'll need a few of these double male joiners. They're only a few cents each, about 20 cents each. So that's the parts you'll need. Outside, I don't have it in view of the camera at the moment, but we'll have a look at it later. Is a 84 centimeter dish, and we bought the 84 centimeter dish because we travel completely around Australia. And in, when you're in Perth, you need a relatively big dish. Just go back to the cable for a moment. I've got two cables. This is just a small spare one. This is about two meters, this one. But the two cables I've got, one is 40 meters, the other is 50 meters, and I've got several of the double male joiners that we just discussed earlier. Now, a lot of people will tell you don't do that because of line loss and signal loss. But there's many times you're behind a tree or behind somewhere where you can't see the satellite and uh, you need to get the dish out in the open and I can vouch for 90 metres I should have gone 100 metres, 250s uh, the picture quality is exactly the same audio is exactly the same uh, I heard a lot about line loss but now I'm not. Uh, it's not an issue to me at all anymore well that's part one, this is the parts you'll need except for the dish you can't see but as I say 84 centimeters it comes with its own tripod and now we'll move on to part two alrighty this is the 84 centimeter dish it comes with a tripod when you buy it and this is the universal LNB and if you look closely you'll see little notches I don't mean the black mark I mean the white plastic notches and I've put the band edge is there which is negative and the band edge there which is positive and I've put a little black mark right in the middle but you should be able to see those little white notches and each one of those represents a certain certain degree and this is not locked into place it's designed to be turned and this rotation compensates for the curvature of the earth well, from my current location it's right in the middle which is about there somewhere so I'll leave it there it hasn't got to be critical like there or there we'll still get a picture but I know from uh, 
a few minutes ago just testing it that about there is about right for today. Coming around the back of the dish, now you'll see the cable comes from the LNB, comes right under through here to the back of the dish. And this cable all the way through is about one and a half meters long. I'll show you why in a minute. Here's where the cable comes out the back of the dish from the LMB and it's broken here. It's cut here with two cables and a double male joiner. And this is where you put the uh, satellite meter directly behind the dish where you're standing. You can see it. You can hear it. Some people put it inside next to the TV. It does no good down there. You can't see it, you can't hear it, it's useless. Get a one and a half meter cable or make, make the cable long enough to reach to the back of the dish like this and break it there and put your double mail there. From there, this cable goes to the caravan all the way around to the uh, satellite input, which is there. So the uh, dish goes from the LNB all the way around to the input from the LNB. The only break in the cable is where we put the meter and we only use the meter when we're finding the satellite. When we've got the satellite the meter comes out. Now here's the satellite plate on the inside of the van. It comes up to the satellite box. I've got the box turned off at the moment. And it goes to the LNB input. I'll show you the terminals on the back later on. But the cable goes to the back of the uh, satellite box. And the output of the satellite box has got the three AV cables, the red, yellow, white. And they go to your TV. There's the cable there going to the TV there to the AV input of the TV I just come down and spin it around it's on an arm and there they are there coming from the satellite uh, box to the AV input as it happens we've got two TVs we're lucky and that goes to the AV input of this one as well so we've seen it come from the dish, from the LMB to the caravan, to the caravan to the box, from the box to the TVs on the AV. Now that's the complete setup. Every time we travel, we just uh, unscrew it from the side of the van and we put the dish away. All this remains permanently hooked up. 